Hey there, my name is Bella Garth. I am an exercise physiologist and I teach specifically to women in their menopausal years. I've got over 37 years of training experience. I can pretty much teach to any training audience or any audience. So in today's video, what I would love to do is do a chair videos, demonstrate to you how we can also do videos that are challenging from the chair. And all you're gonna to need today, of course, is a chair in this video, as well as some weights that are gonna challenge you from like a light set of weights all the way up into a heavy set. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so from the chair here, we're gonna go ahead and get our warm up started. So what I want you to do is just start with a march. At any point, if you want to, you can also take all of these moves from the position into the standing position. But for now, I just want you to march like this, very simply. You have limited mobility in your lower body. All you can do, you can also switch to a heel elevation with the arm. Being very vigorous here, standing up, stay up nice and tall. Bring your fingertips to your earlobes all the way back into your hip pocket. Good. Standing tall here. You can do this for eight more steps. Now we're going to switch up some moves. Seven, six, four, three. Now reach your arms over your head. Do this. Keep marching now. Pulling up. Nice and tall. Keeping the march or oh, heel elevation going here. Now we're going to slice the air across the front. I count you down for eight more counts here. Seven, six, keep pressing up, four, three, and just slice across the front here. Just sort of slice across the body. Ignore the beat of the music here. The legs moving. Good. Slice across the front. We're up for jumping jacks here from the chair, whatever version you can do. Eight, seven, six, good. Four, three, bring your arms over your head. Toss you to side. You can throw circles or you can just go over ahead just like this and ignore the beat of the music. Bumping side to side. Make sure your face is clear. Go as fast or slow as you want to so you can just stay here. That makes you really happy. Or you can force you to slow down. A little my case. And just try to mimic that move as much as possible. Side to side. Nice. We're going for four more here. Four, three, two, and one. And now all I want you to do is mimic like a forward lunge, touch down, and maybe bring it all the way back with a tap of your head. We'll step into the front. Lift up. Good. I'm gonna re I'm gonna change my chair so you can see what this looks like. I like a side view. Good. Nice. Making sure you're bringing all the way back up into that center position, lifting your posture all the way up to the top of your head, and breathing. Making sure we're just getting nice and toasty here. Good. Now we're going to go to side to side. So I'm pulling my butt all the way to the front part of this chair. You're going to side to side, touch the floor if that's available to you. Back, overhead, or just lift your arms up. Good. Lift. Tap. Good. Lift. And tap. Sit up tall and tap. Go in the center and tap. We're bring it to the center. Good. Tap. Tap. Nice. Tap whatever you have available. That's what you're giving me right now. I'm gonna put everything out. Think of what you can do. And tap. And tap. Yes, I am always proud to go do the beat of music. So you can throw this down to with all the space as well for you. And just keep with that until we change movements here. So I direct you to change movements into something else. Here we go. Two on either side. Let's go. One here. Let's go. One. Good. And two. Now all I want you to do is kind of kick to the front. Maybe alternate your fingertips. 
towards the opposite toe, right? Reach on top. Or you can lift the knee here too, maybe do the elbow. Legs sitting up nice and tall all the way up through the crown of your head. Everyone translates to do the best. Just reaching from opposite limb to opposite limb. We're still setting up nice and tall. Squeezing our belly buttons in nice and tight. What you're doing when you're sitting up nice and tall with the posture is making sure that you have the breathing space. Because if you turn to slouch a lot, breathing is going to be very, very difficult. Tapping the toes. Four more. Four. And one. Good. Now we're nice and toasty. Ready for our first set. So what we're going to do here is place our butt onto the edge of the chair. Grab our weights for smooth. It's going to look like this. I'm going to pull the elbows straight up and lower it down. All we're focusing on is pull the elbows up past our hips. Think about focusing, wrapping your blades around that spine. All right, All right. the next move is gonna look like this. We're gonna face our palms in towards each other. Elbows are gonna be tabletop position, set up nice and tall, the way to the crown of the head. Press up over your head. And the last move on this sequence is going to be you with a lean to the front. And this is gonna be a reverse fly situation. So you have to leave with the elbows out. Head is a natural extension of the spine and the elbows are going to pull out to the side just like that. Magic number is going to be 10 on each of these sets. We're gonna do two circuits, so two rotations of these three exercises back to back. Starting with the double arm row, hinge forward from the hips and just pull the elbows up and lower for one for chin two. And lower, remember your neck three. If you're not looking up, if you know what you're doing, and you don't have to look up at the screen, please don't. Pull the elbows back, find the hips. I think we're at five, and reach six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go ahead and sit up here for me, and press over your head for two. Bring the elbows back down the tabletop, or you're just bringing the elbows or the palms the weights right on top of the shoulders here. Five, sit up nice and tall. Six, good. Seven, eight, nice. Nine, and lean forward and do the movement. Five, and bring them out. One, two. We're just pretending we're opening up two cupboards here. Four, five, wrapping our blades around the spine. Six, seven, And all right, so we're gonna do a little cardio movement in between these moves here. So it's gonna be side to side tap. All we're doing is like a hip width apart, or maybe the width of your chair. Tap together, side, tap and tap. A little bit of a breather. And then we're gonna go back into those double arms with that. Breathing, catching our breath. Eight more counts. Eight, six, five, four. Remember, I tend to go to the beat of music, so if you need to slow it down, please feel free. Grab the weight here. I'm going to give you a side view this time. You have an idea of what this looks like from the side. Reach. Get two. And reach. Three. Remember, our head is a natural extension of the spine, so if you don't have to lift up, Put me at the screen, I advise you not to do so. Check the back of your neck. Let's say six, I don't know. Seven, doing the best we can. Eight, nice. Pull back those elbows. Good. Go ahead and have a lift up into the upright position and plus arms are facing each other. And low. Three, and lower. Squeeze the body button, you know, in tight. And lower. And lower. Okay. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good work. Come back down again. Reverse slide. So our final set. Good. We got two. And lower. Three. Six. Nine. Leave those elbows if you can. 
So for this next sequence of, of exercises, we are going to be sitting in the chair. And first move we're going to focus on is going to be chest presses. So you're going to lean back with your blades touching the chair. I've walked my feet out a little bit. And I'm just sort of relaxing the neck, making sure you're not going to slide off the chair is so important. So of course, you know, you really can't do this with a stool. You're going to definitely need like a chair back for that. And the next move in the set is you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna lean back. And this one is gonna be where you're opening and closing the cupboards. And you're bringing the knuckles in towards each other. Final move is going to be you in bicep curls. Making sure you're choosing a challenging weight. So you're pulling all the way up towards the shoulders and making sure the gravity is not gonna take over. So you're guiding those um, forearms going down towards the ground, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. All right, so let's go ahead and lean back and get started with our chest presses, our elbows are out to the side. And going for 10, pressing up for nine. Eight. Again, if I'm going way too fast for you, it's going to go to the beat of the music, then I want you to slow it down and do every other one, every third one, whatever works for you. Excuse me, I'm pretty sure that's 10. Lifting up into the upright position, giving ourselves a little bit of a break. We're gonna do this again. Lean back, give me 10 for one. And two. Move those elbows in out. Three. Lighten up with these slides. Eight, lighten up your weight. Eight, nine. It's a little more challenging if you try to use the same weight. The arms are facing up. Give me the biceps are ready to go. One, and lower down. Remember, we're fighting the gravity on the way down. We have three, and lower down. <laughs> Sitting up nice and tall. Okay. And six. Exhale, lower down. Seven. True to it, nine and ten. All right, we're gonna put in a little bit of an intercession with a little bit of cardio. Let's just give a nice little jog here. We're gonna nice little walk in the chair, alternating those knees up, sitting up nice and tall, breathing. A little bit of a break. Let's give them some shoulder rolls to the front. You can just use those shoulders or you can add those elbows in if you want. Keep those legs moving here. Let's roll to the back here. Going into our next set, but I'm gonna count us down about eight counts here. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach for your waist. Three, two, lean back and press. I'm gonna give a side view this time. So you have a good representation of what you need to be doing. Step back. Exhale and press. Good. Two. Use the belly button in nice and tight. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nice. This is our last rotation here. Good. A little bit of a breather. Sit up for a moment. We're going into flies. Also a moment to be able to grab a lighter set of weights if you need to. Ready, lean back, squeeze it in. We got two, three, five, six, arms are facing in towards each other, seven, eight, nine, good, and sit up tall. Pull your shoulders up for a moment, palms are facing up, and give me a bicep squeeze. We got one, two, three, four, down. You have to remember four, make it work for you. Right. Here to motivate you to keep moving in some way, seven, 
We are going to focus strictly on the abs. Uh, we're going to work on our sides, our serratus, our obliques here, and then we're going to work on the front portion. Doing all of this from the chair. So let me show you what the first move looks like. We're going to lift and reach straight arm or however long of a line you can give me here. You're just going to pull it in. Think, think about bringing your elbow down to that uh, thigh or the outside of the knee. You can also grab behind the head and just pull, or you just sort of keep the arm tucked in and lean and think about drawing the elbow in towards the outer thigh. And then of course, we're going to just switch around and do the other side, whichever version works really well for you. And then we are going to finish off with taking a weight or not, you have many options. Bring it in the bow tie position, lean back, and bring it up into the upright position. So lean back, tap the blades onto the chair, and then bring it all the way back into the upright position. So lean back, tap the blades, tap and upright, okay? Those are the three moves for this final set. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going into our ad section of the program. So you're going to start with one leg, extend it as much as you possibly can. I'm leaning to one side of the chair, arm overhead. And you can try and bring the knee up into towards that opposite or on the same side, but towards that top side. Lift, there's three. Lift. I have my hand on the chair and sort of stabilize me here. Four, and lift. And if you feel like you can, you can place the hand onto the hip. And then yes, the hip is getting some action here. So work the leg. Eight, nine, lift, and ten. Nice. Situate yourself all the way over to the other side. Lean. Use the chair. Don't use the chair. Whatever works for you. Make sure you have some space here. Let's forget this in there. Two, lift. Two, three. And bring it. Four. Remember, you also have this if you want to do it this way. Set up for it. 
just want to add some flavor to this. Maybe you can bring the, the leg out and bring it in like five reps and then switch sides on the other side. Good. Nice point of reference. Remember, you tap the elbows all the way down. Nice. Let's go for about four more. And tap the blades back. Tap back. Squeeze the belly button in nice and tight. Two. And bring it all the way back up into the upright position. Keep cool. it. We did all three rotation circuits for this workout. Let's go ahead and move into the cool down. I want you to give me big arm circles to the bone. Big arm circle. You can let your arms just hang here at either side. Just roll those back. Pressing down through the shoulders here. Big circle. Good. We're going to move this to the front here. So big circle to the front. You're just sort of putting a back roll if you have it there. And all I'm doing is sending the center of my back towards the chair. Sitting up tall, round it up. Sitting up tall and round it up. Now we're going to move into some neck movement here. So I'm not going to drop the chin down towards the chest. Good. And lift it up. Down. Drop the chin to the chest. And now sitting up nice and tall. I want you to shake your head no, so we're just looking side to side over each of our shoulders, turning the neck for as much as we possibly can. We're not holding the face. We're just doing to whatever capacity our neck has, and we're just turning and looking over each of our shoulders here. And bring it all the way back into the center, cross the arm across the body and pull behind the elbow joint. Try to relax the shoulder here. Exhale, release, like five down. Bring it all the way over to the side. And exhale, release. Separate your feet about hip of the part or the width of your chair. Just comforting for you. And we're just going to drop those fingertips down to the center and just draw a circle with your arm. If you want to, if you have some weights close by, you can also put the weight in your hand. The idea is not so much to touch the ground as it is to relax the shoulder. Lift up and reach through the fingertips towards the ceiling. And then exhale, let it drop down. Do it again, lifting up. And exhale, we're placing it right back onto that knee. And then we're going to move over to the other side, relaxing that arm. And again, grab the weight only if it's available, totally unnecessary. Let it relax here. You're going to lift up and reach through the fingertips towards the ceiling. If it's too much for you to reach towards the ceiling, you can just look up over that shoulder if it's an issue for you, because that takes some strength to be able to do that. And you just look up. And exhale, reach for the weight again. Lifting up, reach for the ceiling, or just look up. And then exhale, bring it down. Nice. Sitting up nice and tall. And then I want you to lean back just like we did, doing those presses and those flies. And let the shoulders fall open. You kids are done. Good job. Thank you so much for joining me in this workout. My name is Bama Garns. I'm an exercise physiologist. I focus on women in their menopausal years, inspiring them to keep moving. Please join me for my next video.